Welcome to our lecture online. We have now seen the definition of a random variable and hopefully we're comfortable with that definition. But what do we mean by a discrete random variable? Well, it's still a random variable. In other words, we cannot predict the outcome of any one event. But what makes it discrete? Well, there's several ways in which a discrete random variable can be defined. One of them, and the most typical way, would be that a discrete random variable can be the count of something. Now, that's the most typical definition of a discrete random variable. How often something occurs. How often you get heads or how often you get tails when you toss a coin. That could be a discrete random variable because the number will be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, depending upon how many times you toss the coin. But a random discrete random variable can also be a numerical value representing the age of students in a classroom, the weight in pounds in their backpacks, or the year when they were born. But note that if you want to make a discrete random variable, the age of a person, the weight of a backpack, needs to be rounded off to the nearest whole number or to an integer, if you're going to use it as a discrete random variable. Because if you step on a scale, a very accurate scale, it could give you a decimal, let's say 160.1235 pounds, and even that last decimal place isn't exactly accurate, it's only as accurate as the scale give you, gives you. Maybe it, it could be a, a more accurate scale and give you more decimal places. But when you want to make a discrete random variable, then of course you want to round it off to the wholest number. Let's say 160 pounds or 161 pounds to an integer value. And then if you start measuring the weight of a number of students in a classroom, you never know what that is going to be. Until the person steps on the scale, you can look at it, and if you round it to the nearest whole pound or whole kilogram, then you realize I'm dealing with a discrete random variable. It could be whatever number, but it's going to be an integer value. If you ask the person, when were you born, and I'm only interested in the year in which they were born, then again, that can be a discrete random variable because it's 1960, 1961, 1962, whatever the number is, but not 1961 and so many months and so many days and so many hours and so many minutes because then it no longer is a discrete random variable. Still a random variable but not a discrete one because it can be almost anything at that point. But if we have a sample space with just integers and whole numbers, now we're talking about a discrete random variable. And that is the definition of a discrete random variable.